My name is Nick Spicer. I'm a reporter with Al Jazeera, and I have a question for the Secretary General. Um, Mr. Noble, what kind of information are you hoping to gather in asking the media to talk about these these two men we see in the picture? What, what are the missing pieces of the puzzle? What's the big overall puzzle view you're trying to find? Right. So, obviously, initially, we were trying to determine whether or not it was or wasn't a terrorist incident. And the more information we get, the more we're inclined to conclude that it was not a terrorist incident. And if you read what the head of police from Malaysia said recently about the 19-year-old um, whose photograph is here wanting to travel to Frankfurt, Germany in order to be with his mother as part of a human smuggling uh, issue and not a part of a terrorist issue. So what we're trying to do is, in an investigation like this is either confirm or exclude. And the more we're moving, we're now trying to exclude. The role of the media has been extraordinary because thanks to the media, we learned very fast who was on the manifest list and on the plane. We were able to have the individuals who were believed to be on the plane tell the world that they were alive and that their passports were stolen. So immediately we knew that there were stolen passports involved. That made us all worry that it might be a terrorist event. Now we have images of the two persons concerned with names um, that they used on Iranian passports. And we'd like family members, friends, anyone to say, I know this person, he's my friend, he's my son, he's my brother. And by the way, he was leaving uh, Kuala Lumpur to go to Europe to get a better life uh, or to seek refugee status or asylum or something like that. And by doing this, eventually, with more and more evidence, we're able to exclude that they were involved in criminal conduct that might have caused the plane to disappear and focus on uh, eliminating the human trafficking ring, ring that allowed them to, or people smuggling ring that allowed them to travel and focus on a disaster victim identification process that follows.